So we are on our way up to gift Fraser Mountain, which is a place that we've been unable to gift because our Prius can't handle it. But we have a lovely anonymous guide today who has graciously donated her precious time to get us up here in a car that can handle it. So we're on our way to do something that's just a long time coming. And um, our guide just told me something I didn't know, which that Fraser Mountain had a gold mine. So we're looking at a mountain that's got crystalline minerals and you know what that means. It's a generator of orgone energy. All mountains are, and the mountains up here are pure quartz inside, and now I'm learning about the gold. And that just makes so much of a difference that we go up and neutralize that array because we have a potent generator of orgone energy, and I'm pretty sure that the reason we've had decreased rain and snow up on the mountains in the last decade or so, which people keep complaining about up here, is because the, what brings rain is orgone energy and negatively ionized healthy atmosphere. And when you stick an array of towers up on top of a mountain, you do the exact opposite. You positively ionize the atmosphere and prevent rainfall. So we're on our way and it's such a beautiful drive and such a beautiful day. And thank goodness we've got a, a car that can handle it. Honk to the truth. Maybe one day we'll be able to get all the mountain tops. It takes time. But I think that this mountain is very, very important for generating the proper energy field for rain and snow in Southern California. So this will just grid with everything else we've been doing. And as you can see, this mountain is already very, very happy. We have a healthy negatively ionized sky and deep blue puffy clouds, high orgone today. This is such an important mountain. There were great weather changes when we did Cerro Noroeste and Mount Pinos. And this is going to definitely grid with that stuff. This is a conundrum. Hmm. End of the road? or Fraser Mountain Lookout. Well, when you look at the sign up close, road 8N04 in the arrow, which goes to the Fraser Mountain Lookout, has some really strange little symbols on it. You've got some monster energy drink, some surfboards, I don't know what that is, and I don't know what that is either. Underneath here it says Verizon. Wireless. That way? Is that a signal to us? Well, the way I see it is everywhere needs Organite, and we've got four wheel drive, so looks like we've got some trekking to do. And we're off. So we're going to try the one mile trip first. Why not, right? Let's save a little time. Ring to the truth. There are a lot of baby trees in the forest and so many people keep talking about how the trees are dying and it's the bark beetles and it's the drought and everywhere I go I see more living than dead. So I do want to point out that our attitude really influences the environment. There's so many nice little babies growing up here and nobody even sees them because who can get up this road? These trees are not dying. This is totally normal. It's full. The forest is 
doing great up here. I see actually way more babies than dying trees. See, there's an old giant. There's an old giant that died. But this is also normal. It's just the life cycle. Whenever you see dead trees, look around for the living ones. They're there too. Look for the babies. So we just arrived at a little oasis in the woods. Look at this. We saw some water across the road. Well, there's really no plumbing up here. We really are in the middle of nowhere. And follow the water. And there's a little spring box. This is a natural spring. This is, my guide told me about this. She's waiting for me patiently. Look at this beautiful spring. A little oasis in the woods. See, there really is water everywhere and life everywhere. What a day. I think we're on the right track to the top of Fraser Mountain. Lo and behold, there it is, we went the right way. Although, I think that there's still more work to be done. Oh, what a monstrosity. Yikes. Oh, we know what to do. Crazy. I finally found it. It was quite a deal getting up here. Can you believe this? Several to go. I just have to take a moment to point something out, which is really cool. That's the five freeway down there. We can see it from all the way up here and take a look at the atmosphere. Do you see the haze? That is the DOR. But if you also notice, at the top, you see where it's transmuting. So DOR lifts, picking up high orgone. And at the very top, there are some little gray wisps. That's the toxins being separated. And then you see puffy white clouds forming. So what you have right now is everything separating. Water can be freed from the pollution because the atmosphere is becoming negatively ionized. We have a healthy orgone energy. Hi, little baby. So we put a few tower busters up here already, and usually you only really need one TB to take care of an array. But when there are a lot of towers like this, I'll put at least a couple. We're doing a little overkill today because this is a very important spot. And right now we're gonna insert the earth pipe. So it's earth pipe installation time. I'm gonna try drilling it first. Nice and soft. These mountains are made of rock. They're made of quartz, so it's pretty hard to drill into them. The earth pipe contains organite with a quartz crystal pointing down into the earth and a hollow copper pipe, so we're going to drive it right into the earth. The hard part is finding a place that's not too rocky to do it. So I'm going to dig out a little. The drill can only do so much. We're lucky that we can even drill into this earth.
I'm hitting rock again. See how far we got it now. Oh, this is going to be a project. Probably going to have to find another spot. shorter. That would help. <laughs> Looks like I'm stuck again. Getting warmer though. Okay, well, we've come to a new spot for this earth pipe because I couldn't get it in over there too many rocks in the ground. I'm cheating a little. I got stung by a wasp in the process, and now I have thicker gloves thanks to my kindly tour guide. I'm cheating a little bit. I found a place where the dirt was already kind of mounded up. So I'm going to get it into the best of my ability, and then we're going to just kind of cover it up. It'll do the job. And I think that is to the best of my ability. Let's hope I don't get stung by another wasp. My kindly tour guide also happened to have some activated charcoal in the car. Would you believe that? That's going to take care of the toxicity from the wasp bite that somehow went through my glove in order to tell me that wasn't the place for the earth pipe. All right, finally done. Well, there's my hand. Nice wasp bite. Whew, we're heading back. Mission accomplished. It wasn't easy, but we did it. And fortunately, it was just the one mile drive and not the five mile drive. And well, the worst thing that happened was getting stung by a wasp, but I'm strong and my tour guide here had the right medicine. So looks like I'll be okay. Thank goodness Gabe wasn't here today. He doesn't like wasps. But that's okay, I took it for both of us and now we're heading home after accomplishing something we've been meaning to do for a very long time, but just hadn't found the right vehicle and the right helper. So that's like all in a day's work and many thanks and deepest gratitude towards our anonymous helper. Ring to the truth, honk to the truth. really dramatic conformations in the sky when we do this work. The difference is so fast when you do something like this. A mountaintop array is huge. Beautiful. What a change. Already beautiful when we began. We have even more abundant clouds now and heaven's light shining through. <laughs>